ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു You see there devotees in the month of Kartik there are certain things that if you do you will maximize your blessings with Bhagwan Shri Vishnu you remember when we started up 4 months ago we started speaking about Chaturmas and we are in the final month of the Chaturmas of four very most auspicious holy months to Bhagwan Shri Vishnu and many manifestations there devotees as we would have prayed to him over the past four months and we are coming very close to an end on the Purnima next Tuesday. However, before we reach there, to tell you of the blessings there, this morning we will be discussing a few things that you could do. We have a few more days from today until next week Tuesday. We are still in the month of Kartik, dear devotees. So lighting of deers in the month of Kartik. In many of the scriptures, it highlights the benefit of lighting a ghee deer especially their devotees with a grit or that ghee deer their devotees very beneficial it says here no sins exist anywhere in the three worlds that will not be purified by offering a lamp to bhagwan shri keshav during the month of kartik lighting this comes from the skanda puran their devotees also In the Padma Purana it says one who offers a sturdy ghee lamb to Lord Hari Bhagwan Shri Krishna ji and Vishnu ji during the month of Kartik enjoys the pastimes of Bhagwan Shri Hari himself dear devotees you see this is the most auspiciousness of light in the ghee deers and other scriptures also say you know if one offers a lamp a lamp one during the month of Kartik his sins of many thousands of millions of birds perish in half of an eye blink so instead of a whole blink you know in half of a blink you can eradicate your sins your devotees such as the greatness of light and years it even says that your ancestors will say when someone in our family pleases bhagwan shri keshav by offering him a lamp during the month of kartik then by the mercy of lord himself holds the sudarshan who holds the sudarshan chakra in his hand we all attain liberation your ancestors also bless me to think back to your night of cut of the pavali devotees your mahalakshmi poojan ganesh lakshmi poojan day of the five days of the pavali you would have had to light an akash deep that night be in the Amavasya, dear devotees, and for your ancestors, lighten that ghee, dear, dear devotees, brings much blessings for you, as it says here, dear devotees. And so, lighten of deers, most auspicious. And you offer to Dhamodhar, that Bhagwan Shri Krishna, you discuss his pastimes. And so, dear devotees, this morning, let us enjoy the Dhamodhar Stotram, dear devotees, as we... get and seek the blessing this month of kartik open or send up the volume on your radios on your TVs and bless your home bless your families dear devotees as we enjoy this most auspicious ashtakam stotram in this month of kartik prem subaro shri krishna bhagwan ki jai Prem subaro shri krishna bhagwan ki jai ho jai sita ram dev ki swagatam welcome back to surya dev ki or shri panichi vajan maharaj and this morning we are discussing how you can maximize your blessings even if you haven't done thus far it in the next few days until next week choose a we will still be in the month of kartik and you can maximize your blessing very first one lighten a ghee dia 
And in the Skanda Puran and other Puranas, it also highlights the lighting of a Gidea by Tulsi Mata. And their devotees, you know, in one of the verses of the Padma Puran, it says, of all the plants, the sacred Tulsi is the most dear to me. Of all the months, the month of Kartik is most dear to me. Of all the places of pilgrimage, my beloved Dwarika is most dear. And of all the days, the Ekadashi is the most dear to me. And their devotees, today their devotees, today, Thursday, is the Ekadashi in the month of Kartik. And it's also Tulsi Vivaha. So you can maximize your blessings today by lighting that Gideon by Tulsi Mata, also their devotees performing of Shalikram Baba's Puja. And today is said to be the Tulsi Vivaha or the day when that Bhagwan Sri Vishnu, he assumed the form of Shalikram Baba and the Mata Lachmi Vrinda took the form of Tulsi Mata. And today is that anniversary day their devotees. Long Katha, however, today is that day when they took that form. As they were uh, sarapes or curse on each other, their devotees, that made them into the shalikram that we worship in our pujas and the tulsi mata that we also worship in our pujas. Today is the day they took those forms, Bhagwan Sri Vishnu, Lakshmi Mata in those forms, and in this month of Kartik, on this Ekadashi, you can get such blessings, their devotees. It also says in the Skanda Puran, as Satya Yuga is the best of Yugas, as the Vedas are the best among the spiritual scriptures as the Ganga is the best amongst the rivers also the amount of Kartik is also dear to Bhagwan Sri Krishna and their devotees so knowing that today is Tulsi Viva that if you like your Gidea by Tulsi Mata you have a Shalikram Baba and you offer a Tulsi leaf a Tulsi Manjali the flower of the Tulsi and you know when you pick the flower you, you snip the flower with two leaves their devotees that's how you you make it prepare it for your offering to shalikram baba today their devotees maximize your blessings their devotees much blessings is there in merit is there in doing so so let us enjoy this particular selection which speaks of the vivaha today being that tulsi vivaha of devi mata and vishnu bhagwan prim Savaloshi. Tulsi Mata Ki Cheho Tulsi Mata Ki Cheho Jai Sitaram Dari Bhuti Swagatam Welcome back to Surya Dev with your Shuli Pandashiva Jank Maharaj and this morning we are discussing how to maximize your blessings in this month of Kartik. We are in the 11th day in the bright half of the month of Kartik as we just discussed today is the Maha Ekadashi, the devotees of all the Ekadashis, of the 24 Ekadashis that there are and you have two extra ones in the Adikmas. This is the Maha one just like oh, we, we have Maha Shivratri, there is also the Maha Ekadashi the devotees and today is that day you can fast and pray and seek the blessings of Bhagwan Sri Vishnu, Tulsi Mata, Shalikram Baba, their devotees. And there's a one other way that all of you are quite aware of here in Trinidad and Tobago that you can maximize your blessings in the month of Kartik. You see the entire month of Kartik is called Kartik Snan. Snan means bath. And so why should we there devotees? It says, a person who gets good results by fasting and worshipping the gods in the month of Kartik, which is considered equivalent to visiting all places of pilgrimage. Ancient scriptures like the Skanda Puran, Narad Puran and others have mentioned the significance of this month of Kartik. Taking bath in holy waters during the month of Kartik is considered to be as auspicious as taking bath in Ganga 1000 times. 100 times a Mag Snan and a Kaur times, a Kaur times a bath in the Narmada River during the Vaishak month. The results 
that one gets by taking math in Prayag during the Kumbh Mela is equal to taking a bath in one holy river during the month of Kartik. This is how much blessings you can get by performing your snan, taking your baths in the holy places, the devotees, where this Kartik Puja is performed. So let us enjoy this selection, the devotees, as we see the people by the Ganga taking their Kartik snan, their bath, Prim Subaroshi Vishnu. Welcome back to Surya Day with your Shuri Pandit Shiva Janak Maharaj. And this morning we discussed how to maximize your blessings in the month of Kartik. We have a few more days until next week, Tuesday, when we culminate with the the Kartik Purnima, dear devotees, the blessings of this month of Kartik. And we have discussed how to light your ghee as perform puja to Shalikram Baba, Tulsi Mata, and also hear the pastimes of Bhagwan Shri Krishna in this month of Kartik. Very, very beneficial to each and every one of you. And dear devotees, we discuss also taking the auspicious baths in the holy places. And as we said, on Tuesday coming, the Purnima will be done in a grand way up at the Manzalena Beach and other venues for the SDMS. And as we close this morning, we pray, Om Asatoma Satgamya, Tamasoma Jyotir Gamya, Mrityurma Amritam Gamya, Om Shanti 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 Hari Om.